Hey everyone and welcome to another unboxing. Here I got some more native fish and they're going to be going back here with the sunfish. Now I am going to be pretty quick with this one because this box has been, it shipped out Monday and today's Wednesday so it took you know a decent amount of time to get here and quite honestly I'm not feeling too confident about it I'll bring you down here to the box and we'll talk a little bit more so from the looks of it it doesn't look like it was packaged terribly I mean it's USPS which generally is not as good of a carrier as say U UPS or uh, FedEx but I'm just gonna open this thing up and get these fish out of here because they've been in here for a long time and I am really hoping that they are still alive but we'll see what the verdict is so i'm gonna oh, we got the little card here I'll show you guys that in a second have the insulation here and the bag Everybody in here looks alive. Okay, that's a good sign. And, whoa, everyone in here is alive too. Wow, that is awesome here. I'll show you guys the, the goods here in a second. And these guys here are seriously tiny. Like if you thought those pumpkin seed sunfish last time were tiny, these guys are tiny. But let me get them out of the bag here. They're the exterior bag and then we'll talk about what's in here okay so what I got in this bag here are some more of the dollar sunfish and originally I had wanted I think five of them but I was only able to get two from Jonah's so I got four more of them here I don't think I actually ordered for but that's what they gave me so I'm gonna float acclimate these guys and then this bag here this is really what I was excited about and what I was nervous about too because I kind of thought that the sunfish would have lived for sure but this one I wasn't sure about and once we get this bag open you'll know what I'm saying is this triple bagged yeah, I think this one's triple bagged and that that makes sense actually so what I have in here are two brown bullhead catfish and I'm guessing the reason that they triple bagged this is because the catfish their fins actually have a barb in them so if you you could get like pricked with it I'm guessing they could have punctured the bag and that's why they put so many on there but these guys are gonna be pretty cool they can get upwards of 17 inches long or the, I think the largest one recorded is about 20 inches, but I highly doubt they will get past 12 to 14. So with that said, my only concern is that maybe eventually these guys could get big enough to eat the dollar sunfish. I don't really think it will be the case, but that's really the only uh, issue I could foresee with these guys. But the, they are actually the largest growing bullhead from what I understand, and they'll be pretty cool. So I'm going to flood acclimate these guys as well. So as you can see here, we got the bullheads float acclimating and the sunfish are definitely interested as to what is going on in here. They nipped at the bag a few times and uh, as sunfish typically are, they're a little bit territorial. So I would have to guess they have pretty much already established their territory and they're like, what are these guys? So my hope is that they're not going to get stressed out too much by the sunfish. And if you remember from last time, I actually put these pvc pipes in here and i put those in not for the sunfish but actually for the catfish because sunfish they're not going to do much of hiding they're typically just out in the open water as such but my hopes are that these guys are going to be able to go in there and they'll be all right they're definitely swimming around and they look lively uh hopefully they're doing well but they got a little bit of pink on them and i don't know if that's just the coloration that they are at this size or what but I'm surprised at how marbled they are. I didn't think they would be like that until they uh, got a little bit larger, but that was one of the draws to these guys. They have beautiful colorations, and uh, they'll be a nice cat someday. 
And then as you can see, there are the dollar sunfish. And that one that just swam up in the front was a pumpkin seed. But they are large enough that they won't get eaten by anything. And I don't think they'll really get stressed out either. But they're they're super tiny. I mean, they're, they're literally like... <laughs> they're hardly half an inch long. Whereas the uh, pumpkin seeds are about an inch long. But I think they'll do all right. We're just going to get them in here in a second and... Uh, we'll go from there. So we've got the bucket set up, of course, and these guys have been floating for enough time. I think that they're definitely good to go. And I gotta hold this bag real tight since they've been in the bag for so long. And just dump them on out. And just let them swim right on. So there they are. The sunfish are definitely curious. I haven't seen any nipping yet. It's li likely to occur to be honest, but I think that once they make their way into these PVC pipes, they'll be in good shape. They're just swimming around. We'll let them go. We will revisit them later on, let them get acclimated and whatnot, but I think they'll be just fine. Okay, so now we'll do the dollar sunfish. And I have, you notice I got the light off back in here just to help the catfish get acclimated because they seemed like they were having a little bit of a rough time. So get these. Oh no. I have to get them out there. I don't want that air getting in there. Oh crap. So the net fell in. Now I gotta get some of them out of the bucket, but I got two of them in there, so I'm gonna put them in. It's easy to catch fish when they're that tiny. <laughs> and all is well. All right, I'm not gonna show you that tank right now. We'll, we'll revisit it later. I have some stuff I gotta do in the meantime. So it's about two weeks later and I didn't intend for the gap to be that long. I just have been pretty busy so I haven't had time to adequately film these guys. As you can see, everyone is extremely active especially these catfish, I really didn't expect them to be that active, but they're constantly swimming around. I have no idea when they sleep because day and night they're always swimming around. And they're big eaters, they're actually begging for food right now. So you can see the one, he's got a little bit of a pot belly, he's been feasting on those shrimp pellets, but the other, the other one's getting there. In time, they'll definitely put on some substantial size and I think that they're they're gonna be a really nice looking fish. The sunfish on the other hand are also doing very well. The green sunfish most notably have put on a decent amount of size. They've honestly, from the looks of it, they've at least doubled in size. I can't say that for certain, but I'll do a little before and after clip here and you can get a decent idea as to how significantly these guys have grown. The dollar sunfish too have put on a decent amount of size. It doesn't seem like they've put on length as much as height and girth so not overall it's more so weight and then i would say the same goes for the long ear sunfish definitely has put on a little bit of size and weight but not nearly as much as the green sunfish but overall i have no complaints with any of the fish in this tank they're all doing very well seem healthy extremely active always wanting to eat the only thing is i have to clean this tank pretty frequently because i've been feeding them a lot and Normally I would only feed once a day and I really don't even feed my fish that much when I do feed them. I'm pretty careful about it because I, I don't like to overfeed. Uh, but with these guys I've been feeding them a lot because I want them to grow as quickly as I possibly can get them to grow so that I don't have to keep them in quarantine for much longer. And honestly at this rate I think that they'll be ready to go in about two months, three months. So that's really nice. I was expecting a little bit longer but that's great the catfish though they might have to wait a little bit longer just since they're more of a tubular fish and <laughs> as weird as that sounds just because they're longer uh my green sunfish he could definitely eat them right now but i think if they're about doubled in size and he doesn't really grow that much we'll we'll be in good shape but everyone in here doing excellent and we'll move on over to the other tank right now 
And so now we're on over to this tank. As you can see, I got that strip light on here. It's the same one that was on the other tank. I don't keep a light on this tank, as I mentioned in the previous video. So I just put that on here for now so we could see what's going on in here. Unfortunately, in this tank, we had a few casualties. And quite honestly, I expected it. So we had one of the pumpkin seed die off. And that happened not too long after I had got them. And then the same goes for the dollar sunfish that I had in here, I had two of them die off. But all of the ones that are in here now, they look very healthy, they have some decent size to them. The ones that did die, they did look kind of frail and it probably would have been in my best interest to actually separate them from all of the other fish to nurse them to health because I, I just think that they may have got out competed by all of the other fish. But there's really no way of knowing. All I gotta say, in regards to that is like the, the water parameters are good. I always keep my water pretty clean in these tanks. I do frequent water changes because just like the other tank, I'm feeding them frequently to try to get them to grow. And I just think it was a matter of them being out competed or something along those lines. But everyone that's in here now is pretty healthy. The pumpkin seed, I would say give them another month or two and they should be big enough to going with the other fish and the two dollar sunfish they're they're fish food right now they're just bait fish they're so tiny anyways i'm fairly certain that we're not going to have any more casualties you know we haven't had any casualties in about two weeks or so it pretty much happened shortly after i filmed the first set of these videos so i think we'll be good to go everyone that's in here now as i said they're, they're displaying traits of a healthy fish eating properly gaining weight and i i think we're in good shape so that about does it for this unboxing video. I guess it was almost an unboxing and an update video since there was a two week break in, in between the clips, but you know, it is what it is. I, I feel like it was predominantly an unboxing video. I've got more coming up in the near future. We're gonna be doing some stuff with my Betas tank behind here. As you can see, it looks a lot different than you probably remember it looking and uh, I definitely am liking the new look, but you know, I won't really talk about that much right now. We, of course, got the setup that we're going to do for the sunfish and the new catfish as well. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you've seen the work that I've been doing on the 150 gallons. So that's just a little snapshot, I guess, of the type of projects in terms of fish that you can expect to see in the near future. Got a lot of stuff coming up just <laughs> in general. Working on a ton of stuff right now. Uh... And that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Give, giving some love to the native fish. As I said in the past video, this video, they came, the ones in this video, they came from Zimmerman's fish. And then in the past video was from Jonah's Aquarium. Check out the video description. I got all the links in there. And, you know, these, these fish are great. I, I can just tell you from experience, they're great fish to keep. But if you don't want to keep them, that's up to you. I, I personally, I like them. I like goldfish too. And people don't like goldfish, so... You know, it is what it is. But as always, guys, I appreciate you. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me keep doing what I'm doing. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. We're going to keep it real up in here. And, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.